Hi, it's Drew with Finale. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Noah's Ark HBS file to migrate your effects from Finale Business to Finale 3D. The Noah's Ark file is pretty simple. It's just one of each effect that you'd like to move uh, from Finale Business to Finale 3D. And actually, it's a really good idea to create a Noah's Ark file, even if you're not planning to upgrade to Finale 3D right now, because <clears throat> it will allow you to recover your effects if uh, anything happens to the Finale Business installation, or you change computers, or you have another problem with Finale Business, uh, and uh, if you don't have access to the software for whatever reason, then having the file, the Noah's Ark HBS file, is a great backup. So to get started, we'll just log into Finale Business. Okay, each time we log into Finale Business, we're going to get this message that appears. Uh, the message just tells us that support has ended uh, for Finale Business. This just means that there's no ongoing service. Um, the software will not stop working immediately, but there's no ongoing support and service. So if the servers go down that support uh, soundtrack uploading or video rendering, um, then the software will con won't work in those functions anymore. So it would be necessary uh, to work offline. And in offline mode, you can't upload soundtracks or perform other inventory functions or save new items to my fireworks. So to get past this um, message, we can just click anywhere on the screen and that will take us to the fully functioning version of Finale Business. All right, so now that we're in Finale Business, the next step is to uh, create the um, the file with the with one of each of effect. So what we'll do is um, first, uh, if you have a lot of effects, it might take more than one file. Um, but the first thing I like to do is uh, extend the length of the show so we have more uh, total uh, duration to add the effects. So to do that, we'll go to Show, uh, Set Show Duration, and then the longest supported show is 3,600 seconds, which is an hour. So we'll put that in. Set Show Duration. Great. Now, if we have lots of effects, uh, that gives us a lot more room on the timeline to put them. I'm going to go ahead and expand the timeline a little bit down here so you can get a better look at it. Okay, great. So now we're going to go to our inventory. You can do this by, um, you know, you might have your uh, fireworks stored in My Fireworks. You might have your fireworks stored in Finale Inventory. Either way, uh, making the Noah's Ark file is the best way to migrate your effects uh, from Finale Business to Finale 3D. So I'll go down here to Inventory View, uh, which is also Control-I on the keyboard. We'll bring that up and then uh, make this a little bit bigger. And then right now we're looking at All Inventories. Uh, so we'll switch that over to My Fireworks because in this case, the effects that I want to migrate from Finale Business to Finale 3D are in My Fireworks. So we'll just select that here. And then what we have listed are the items stored in My Fireworks. In this example, I don't have a tremendous number of items, so the project won't take that long. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. We just need to add one of each effect to the show. So I'll just go down, click each row, add one of the show. At the moment, they are all being added at the same time on the timeline, and that's okay. So we'll just make sure we have one of each. I'll scroll back up just to double check. Can also bring this down to take a look at the whole list. Looks good. So now we have one of each item uh, in the show on the timeline, uh, but they're all at the same time. So the next thing we need to do is um, spread these out so there's no overlap. It's really important uh, to bring these into Finale 3D. It's much easier if there's no overlap between the effects, especially when the effects are cakes, uh, and we'll, that'll become more apparent in a, in a later video. So. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, Edit, and we'll do Select All. You can also use Control a on the keyboard, and there's a few other ways to select everything too, but this is an easy one. Select All here. Uh, and then we're just going to do uh, use the uh, Edit Times feature, and then find Spread Out Evenly uh, to spread everything out really quickly. Uh, I know that uh, my longest cake is not more than 40 seconds, so to do everything all at once, um, I'm just going to go ahead and enter an interval of 40 seconds. So this tells me that I'm going to need 800 seconds 
uh, to do this. It's going to end at uh, 810, and that's a lot less than the 3600. So I know this is going to fit. So no problem fitting this uh, within this show. So there we go. Um, all the, the effects are now spread out on the timeline. Zoom in a bit here just to make sure there's no overlap. There are some that's pretty close. You can see this cake here. It's pretty close to being overlapped with the next one. So I can just nudge this over a bit. Uh, some of them are much further apart than they need to be, but that's okay. So again, here's another cake that has a pretty long duration. So we'll come back and adjust this a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so that really takes care of it. Um, that's, that's the process. Of course, it would take a bit longer if you had a significant number of effects, but it's really all you need to do. So the last step to create the Noah's Ark is just simply to save the file. So we'll just do file, save, and then we just do Noah's Ark. I'll just give it another name since I've already have one in there, and then save the file. And that's it. Now we have our Noah's Ark HPS file which we can use to import into Finale 3D, or if we ever lost access uh, to Finale Business because a computer crash or hard drive crash or any other issue, that's kind of a backup of all of our Finale Business effects. So it's kind of like a, a good insurance policy there. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll look at using the Noah's Ark HBS to bring effects into Finale 3D.